and more people are spending time outside and some are sharing concerns about the lack of upkeep at several Birmingham parks. And our Lauren Harkson joins us live tonight with those concerns and what one city councilor is saying, Lauren. That's right, Bria. I spent some time at East Lake Park today and found trash on the ground, weeds up to my knees, even a broken utility pole. I'm told by a city councilor that a big issue with some of these parks, a lack of funding to help with the upkeep. I grew up here all my life. It was a great place to grow up. It was awesome. So, you know, I just, it's a shame how this place went downhill. I'm ashamed of it. Yvonne Hardin now lives in Pinson, but comes back to East Lake Park often since he has so many good memories of it. But he says he's disappointed because of the upkeep or lack thereof. They don't keep it up and people throw trash out. And it's, it's amazing how things have changed. These trees are rotten. They could fall in your car and just tear them up. Hardin says his calls to the city about park problems go unanswered. I, like I said this morning, I called by that telephone pole. They didn't call me back. One year ago, I did a story about the lack of lighting at the park, but that problem also remains. East Lake Park is a good example of uh, one of Birmingham's oldest parks and one of the parks that we have consistently had problems with uh, maintaining the lighting there is the copper has been stolen several times after uh, we replaced the lighting. Hunter Williams represents District 2. He says sometimes the parks go untreated because of a lack of funding and manpower. The city of Birmingham has over 114 parks uh, and rec centers, um, and some of which are in very close proximity to each other. It is very difficult for us from a uh, capital standpoint, from a fiscal standpoint, and a personnel standpoint to be able to keep those staffing levels and keep that capital into maintaining all of these different uh, venues and parks and rec. We have to find a way as a city, in my opinion, to right size our inventory so that we can have uh, grade A parks and recreation space. William says he doesn't want to get rid of any parks or rec spaces, but just transform them. Revamp and relook at its purpose. And I think that our citizens deserve better. I think that they deserve grade A parks and rec. Now there is a fishing rodeo plan for East Lake Park next Saturday from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Hardin tells me he just hopes the park will be cleaned up by then for all of the visitors. Bria.